value this time in your life, kids. Because this is the time in your life where you still have choices. In your teenage years, you think you can do anything. And you do. Your 20s, well, they're a blur. Your 30s, you start settling down, getting some money and thinking to yourself, what happened to my 20s? Your 40s, you get a little pot belly. You get an extra chin. The music starts to sound too loud. You find out your ex-girlfriend from secondary school is going to be a grandmother. Your 50s, you'll have a minor surgery. You'll call it a procedure, but it's a surgery. Your 60s, the music is still too loud, but it doesn't matter because you can't hear it anyway. Your 70s, you and the wife will retire to Fort Lauderdale. You start having your dinner at two o'clock in the afternoon. You spend most of your day just wandering around shopping centers, looking for the perfect soft yogurt and saying to yourselves, why don't the kids call? Your 80s, you'll have a major stroke. You'll start babbling to some nurse that your wife can't stand, but you call her mama. Any questions? Look, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just going to have to come out of this. Uh, I, I don't want to work with you anymore. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's getting a bit too much. Um, you know, at first, it was all friendly and... You, you know, did funny impressions, and it was, yeah, it was, it was funny um, at the time. Uh, but it, every, every single thing that comes out of your mouth is a form of impression, and it's a bit, it's, it's just getting too much for me. I can't quite handle it anymore, to the point where, when you speak, I just want to grab your face and close it. And I know that might sound harsh, I know you're just trying to be funny, but yesterday I was trying really hard with a customer and uh, they were like really panicked and, and freaked out and, and you know, they, they were, I mean, who stresses over a DVD player? I know, I mean, who even gets DVDs? But they were stressing. I mean, you came over um, as Mr. Blobby and it just didn't, it just didn't help. And if I have to hear one more time I might I might have to rip my face off Hi An article online said that I should write a letter to you for closure but every time I sat down at my desk I could not but think And then I'm no good to anyone. <laughs> so I thought I'd try this instead. And it feels weird. But you're never going to see this. So I should just give it a go. I guess I just want to say I'm angry. I'm really angry. You've never seen me angry before. Not like this. I've never seen me angry like this. I think sometimes it's easier to be angry. Because I miss you. And right now I don't think you deserve to hear that. I do. I miss your smell. I miss you kissing me. I miss you hugging me. I miss just sitting down next to you and doing nothing, not even talking. When you messaged me, you said I should tell my mum that I love her. That we shouldn't be fighting. 
and that I should tell her I love her and I should do it every day. So stupid, I should have put that one together. And that was your last message. I wish I'd been quicker. You would have been. I was supposed to be the one that helped you. I was supposed to be the one that you turned to. And I couldn't do that for you. I'm really sorry that it wasn't enough. I miss you, Andrew. And I wish I'd told you more how amazing you are. But I didn't know. I wish I had. I wish I'd known that the last time I'd kissed you or I'd hugged you was the last time. Because if I'd known, I never would have let you go. few times weren't there Albert when we thought we weren't going to make it but all we have to do now is a little piece to camera a few stills for the press and off we go yes <laughs> whoa whoa oh it's it's a bit slippery isn't it let's um what we need here is uh, Albert I distinctly said cramp on <sighs> right let's get wait a minute there's still some blue on this flag is it, is it... oh they're still with us oh jolly good Okay, let's get this photo done and get off this mountain.